Good evening, Lexbots, and welcome to the second annual Made You Look Freak Show. Ruffles is busy this year gathering <clears throat> some, like, new juggling stuff. But don't worry, your host this evening is going to be Duel the Clown. You probably don't want to mess around, like, in the mirror maze, though, or touch anything you're not supposed to, because she does have, like, a third eye. And we've only had the second mouth bite one person. It took their finger off, but we don't need to talk about that. But while you're waiting, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. I'm starting off by applying white Graftobian Pro Paint to my entire face using the Made You Look Foundation brush. I'm then taking a light gray eyeshadow to map out my two separate mouths. Now I know it's a little bit difficult for you guys to see at this point, but you'll see it darker in a second. I'm then outlining my two models using Paradise Paint in red. When doing this entire look, you want to look at it as two separate faces. So I'm first completing mouth one. And then I'm completing mouth two. If you have any trouble seeing the illusion, imagine that you have like a dotted imaginary line splitting up your two different faces. Only imagine one face at a time. For a little bit of more dimension to the lips, you guys can add Graftobian Pro Paint in white and just put a little bit of stripes that are blended out in the center of your lips. I then mix together light tan body paint and red body paint to give me a nice pink gum color. And I'm applying this to both of my mouths. I'm then going in with a light tan body paint and the Made You Look lip brush and just drawing in my teeth in both mouth one as well as mouth two. Go ahead and shade with yellow or brown eyeshadow if you want to make the teeth look a little bit more rotten or gross. Fill in all the area that you have left open with Graftobian Pro Paint in black. There may be some areas where you want to drag the Pro Paint around and do a little bit of shading like underneath the lips and then also between the two mouths. This will help with the separation of the two mouths is appearing that it's going further back in that area. And then using the Made You Look Angled Brush and Paradise Paint in red, draw on my clown nose. Once again, remember this as two separate faces and try to make the shape that your nose makes. For this particular shape, it would be a circle in the middle and two circles on the side. Totally optional, I also just wanted to shade my nose a little bit just to make it a little bit darker. It's also going to give the flat nose a little bit more depth. I'm then using a mix of black and white Pro Paint to create a light gray and I'm mapping out exactly where my third eye is going to go. I'm then applying violet body paint to all three of my eyes in the shape of diamonds. I'm then just adding a little bit of black eyeshadow to each of the diamonds just to give it a little bit more darkness. Creating the expression in your first and second face might take a little bit of practice and it's easier to watch than to explain. Just be sure that everything that you're doing on face one, you are repeating on face two. If you do wrinkles under your real eyes, make sure you put wrinkles underneath your fake eye. Because you don't actually have a nose on the side of your face, well maybe you do, I don't know. You're going to want to also shade on each side just to make it a little bit more of a nose shape. And then just going in with Graftobian Pro Paint in black and just darkening up some features. Go ahead and line your eyes and smudge those babies out using the Made You Look Angle Brush. For this look, I'm putting yellow contact lenses in, so for whatever color your eyes are going to be, make sure you fill in your third eye that same color. And yes, you do have to line your third eye.
Just to add a little bit of extra creepy effect, I'm then painting on red and black stripes down my neck, very messy. 